Hey, what's up guys? I wasn't going to make a video, but I decided this might be something cool for someone else to try at home, and I will provide the links of where I bought this on eBay in the description. There's two things I'll have to order. This is a do-it-yourself uh, LCD screen controller kit, and that is a power supply for the controller kit. Anyways, what I'm doing is I've stripped down an old laptop that I had and I didn't want to get rid of the display because it was actually a nice display. I bought it in 2005, yet it was like leading edge and it does 1920 by uh, 1080 or 1280, I forget. And so basically I'm not going to get into how to strip down your laptops. You're going to have to look that up yourselves. But once you do so, you'll end up with a display. And if you're willing to invest about 30 bucks, maybe 35 bucks, including the power supply, then you can get this thing working like a TV. And it has an HDMI, a DVI, and an RGB uh, or VGA input. So HDMI, DVI, RGB, or VGA, sorry. And uh, this is a volume or a headphone in and line out or speakers out. So line in, line out, and you have a volume control, I would assume. I haven't tried this yet. I don't even know if it's going to work. Just kind of going with it. So this is the keypad that comes with it. Just bare bones button. Assuming that's the power on because it's got a little LED. Uh, this is the controller board. Mine actually came all hooked up, but if it's not, you're going to have to plug the cables in the right spot. Uh, this is the controller board, and this is probably the most important part. This is the inverter, and this is what's going to drive the power to the light bulbs behind your uh, LCD screen. And for power, which goes in on the controller board, you're going to need a 4 amp 12 volt output AC adapter. Uh, you can. Have, I'm going to put the link for this one as well. I ordered it directly from the company and it all came in one box. That way I know everything's going to work together. Obviously you can get a different power supply and I'm sure you'll be fine. When you go to make your order, you have to make sure you provide them with the model number of your touch screen. So mine happens to be a LG Philips LCD and it's an LP171WU. 1 17 inch UX or WUXGA. Uh, another important part is the eight, and I forgot to send this and they asked it for, they asked, they emailed me back asking for the suffixes in order to get the right inverter, and that's right here. It'll explain this on the website. I'm just making a, a video to make it a little easier. So you give them that, and then you give them the A4K2 or A4K4, depending on what your LCD display is. So I'm going to try to get this thing going. I'm going to power it up and I uh, let's see if it works. Another quick note before I try this is initially when you take your displays out, there will be a cable attached, which is underneath. I'm not going to plug it back in. But you have to make sure that your new cable is actually oriented the same way. So I want this cable to go in most likely with the red cables on the side. So i got to make sure that goes in like that. Alright, it's actually been like two weeks. You can see I'm actually filming with my iPad right now. And I just forgot to finish the video. So I'm going to piece it together now. I did get it working. Uh, this is the power on button, like I suspected. I almost forgot to hook up this cord for the inverter. I initially didn't plug it in. I noticed the backlights weren't turning on. So yeah, I've got my Apple TV hooked up to it. I've got the audio out from the board going down to my little iPod dock there. And I actually have it loaded on my YouTube channel on Apple TV. Yeah. So I can resume that. Looks like a beauty. So I didn't actually frame it and make it all pretty because I found the blue line. And it has nothing to do with the circuit board. It's my screen. I had crap sitting on top of it forever. And I tried all three inputs and the line was still there, so I'm assuming it wasn't anything to do with the board. And I think it's just my screen telling me it's ready to go bad. Regardless, it works. It's nice and high definition. It'll be my shop test display kit. Alright. Take it easy.